Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Jetfish, the Washington Huskies put the finishing touches on their coaching staff heading into the 2024 season as they go out and hire Robert Bala to come in and coach the linebackers for this program heading into the 2024 season. I think the number one selling point for the Washington Husky fans on a guy like Robert Bala was this was a guy that was handpicked by coach Nick Saban to coach the linebacker room for Alabama in 2023 and I think the selling point is if he's good enough for Nick Saban if he caught Nick Saban's eye as a coach he's good enough for me and I think this is a massive hire for the Washington Huskies heading into that 2024 year a lot of moving parts want to do a couple different things last night we hopped on talked about my top five impact transfers for the Washington Huskies we took a look at the personnel want to talk about Robert Bala and also talk about the coaching staff moves that Jed Fish has made over the last couple of weeks. And for the Washington Husky fans, we got a deep dive on Steve Belichick's defense coming out. Should be out on Sunday afternoon. We're extremely excited to share that with you guys as well. Before we get into Robert Bala, I just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Washington Husky fans. We've been uh, just kind of covering this program as the commitments have rolled in. It was It's a really exciting time to cover and to talk about this Washington Huskies program and the amount of support, the amount of nice words that you guys have shared in the comments section, that stuff means the world. Can't thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Robert Bala. And again, I think the selling point here is that Nick Saban, that Robert Bala caught Nick Saban's eye and he hires Robert Bala to come into this Alabama staff and coach those linebackers in 2023. That was a defense that, went and just played in the college football playoffs, was a defense that had multiple linebackers play very good football for Alabama, including guys like Deontay Lawson and Jahad Campbell. Robert Bala not only was a good enough coach to catch the eyes of Nick Saban, but was a good coach for Alabama in 2023, was just not retained by Kalen DeBoer, was actually set to take the defensive coordinator role at Western Michigan, and then Jet Fish comes calling. And again, I think the number one thing that Washington Husky fans should be excited about is you look at how do you evaluate these coaches and these coaching hires, and they're just kind of moving all over the place. I think the number one thing you can do to evaluate a coaching hire is look at that coach and look at where they've been and where they were really appreciated. And if Nick Saban, who a guy that has been absolute dynamite at hiring staffs around him, like the guy like Robert Bala, you kind of know it's going to be a good hire. The second thing that really stands out to me about Robert Ball is just how quickly he's moved up the coaching industry. This was a guy that's been a lot of different places, but every single place he goes, he's just moving up the ranks, right? And he winds up at Alabama's linebackers coach in 2023. You go back to his time at Liberty in 2022, where that defense led the nation in tackles for a loss, was third in the nation in sacks, worked under Coach Hugh Freeze, and Robert Ball has worked under some very good high coaches the last couple of years in Nick Saban and Hugh Freeze. And you can learn a lot from those caliber of coaches. You see it all the time. Like Nick Saban, the coaching staffs that he's hired, a lot of those guys go on to do really good things, right? Kirby Smart at Georgia, Dan Lanning at Oregon, the list kind of goes on and on. You kind of trust going to the Nick Saban tree and hiring, especially when you're getting essentially a lateral mover. Robert Bala did a good job coaching the linebackers at Alabama in 2023, doesn't get retained, and kind of just falls into the Washington Huskies' laps to coach the linebackers in 2024. Now, I think the next thing to note is Robert Bala and his connection to Southern California. That is one of the things that I think we're most excited about with Jetfish taking over this program is what this program can do from a recruiting standpoint. Many of the Washington fans that have listened for the last couple of weeks know how critical I was of Kalen DeBoer winning all those football games the last two years, but never really getting it done on the recruiting trail. I think the question was, how sustainable is that? Yes, we love that you're winning football games. You got to back it up on the recruiting trail. And I think Jed Fish is coming in at a program that is much more capable of recruiting than a team like Arizona or a program like Arizona. You're looking to get the recruiting going a little bit under Jed Fish. And having a guy like Robert Bala, who has significant ties to that Southern Cal region, that's a very talent-rich region. I think there's no doubt in my mind, Jed Fish looks at those connections, looks at what he wants Washington to do on the recruiting trail and say, yeah, let's go get Robert Bala because he's going to be a guy that helps us get it done on the recruiting trail in an area, Southern California, where you want to be able to get it done. 
that's another thing that I really like. And I want to take a look at just the coaching staff in general for a minute. Again, we kind of did our summary on what the Washington Huskies done from a personnel standpoint last night. Now we get an opportunity to talk about what the Washington Huskies have done in terms of building this staff. And I think the number one thing is Jed Fish taking a lot of coaches with him from Arizona. And I think that's massive. You look at that Arizona program and the massive strides they make. That was a team that went 1-11 and in Jed Fish's first year that just went 10-3 and and was one of the better teams in the Pac-12. You want those coaches that just made that transformation at Arizona to come to Washington. Because the way I see it is Washington is just a place that is kind of a much more powerful program than Arizona. And if that coaching staff and Jed Fish could get it done at Arizona, you kind of feel like they're going to be able to get it done for the Washington Huskies over the next couple of years. Obviously, the OC hire, Brennan Carroll, I'm a massive fan of him. Massive fan of really what they've done on the offensive side of the football. You go back and watch that those Arizona offenses, and you want those offenses in Washington – you look at the defensive side of the football, they make a splash hire, a hire that we woke up at midnight to talk about live. Steve Belichick coming over to Washington. Let's put it quite frankly, we're going to do our deep dive into Steve Belichick in a couple of days. But when you see NFL coordinators come to the college ranks, you normally see a lot of success, right? Dan Lynn making the jump down to college, did a phenomenal job for UCLA. Mike McDonald and Jesse Minter at Michigan obviously have done a phenomenal job at Michigan coming from the NFL. You kind of feel good about what Steve Belichick is going to be able to do. And what you've done is kind of highlight or hire some guys around Steve Belichick that are going to be able to get it done on the recruiting trail. Right? I think one of the conversations that you have is, all right, we love Steve Belichick's mind in terms of schematic schematics and running a defense. Can he get it done on the recruiting trail? You can mitigate some of those concerns with getting a guy like Robert Bala, who just recruited for Alabama the last 12 months. So I, I, I'm a massive fan of not only Robert Bala and the hire, but I'm a really big fan of the staff that Jed Fish is putting together for this Washington Huskies program. Again, we're going to do our deep dive into that Steve Belichick defense in the next couple of days. We've been working on it, watching some New England Patriots film. Very excited to share that with you guys. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas again. If y'all do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.